What's going on, folks? I'm GOAT. This is an extra video because what in the fuck? Before I open up the screen that's going to pop up right here, I want to cover something. Whenever somebody gets something new, the general phrasing idea is let the new wear off and then see where everything rests. For some reason, digital extremes can't really own that particular fucking line of thinking. Hence, Dante and Neja. So as of today, if my fucking mouse would behave itself, as of today, uh, we now have Dante balance changes. Okay. Dante balance changes. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this shit so there's not quite so much clutter here. There we go. So Dante balance changes. Um, bro, really? Like, are, are we fucking kidding with this shit right now? So what we're looking at is that, yeah, okay, so we've, we've increased, uh, let's just read this, okay? In the time that Dante has been able, available to play, eight fucking days, he has quickly become a fan favorite. He's new. No fucking shit, he's become a fan favorite. And basically, almost every frame is very popular. Uh, we recognize that how much of a blast it's been to play with this uh, quill-wielding Laverian wizard, which is something that we have kept at the forefront while determining the following balance changes. These changes are not meant to suspend the fun factor, but to maintain our philosophy of why we nerf things in Warframe. Automated play, disruptive, uh, automated play, disruptive to squad or overly dominant. Um, yeah, Dante powerful, Dante not disruptive, Dante not automated. Like if you don't keep up with the ability casts, you you will die eventually. Um. So and and as you climb up higher in levels, Dante is not going to be as powerful, right? Like. There is a cap when you start having to do a lot of ability casting to kill higher leveled enemies. So after much review and feedback consideration, we recognize that it's not the damage that Dante can deal. Bullshit. Not by what the nerf is. It's not the damage that Dante can deal that needed to be addressed, but rather his accumulation of overguard. Bro, what? We still believe Dante is in a strong place even with these adjustments, as our goal from the start has ne uh, was never to nerf him into the ground. There's going to be a lot of players that ain't going to play him no more. Or play him very little. Um, however, finding balance isn't simply in the nerfs, but also the buffs. So we've given a little bit of love to Word Warden and Triumph. Increased Word Warden's weapon damage on warded allies from 30% to 50%. Whoopty fucking do. Final versus tragedy now affects now only affects within line of sight. Now you need to come to the understanding very fucking quickly that this line of sight is a hard line of sight, just like Cora was uh, at Tenocon 2022 when they nerfed her fucking whip claw down to line of sight. It was a hard line of sight. So basically it couldn't hit shit around doorways, through a box, uh, through another fucking person sometimes. And it was fucking horrible. And it absolutely killed Cora's ability to fucking do any goddamn thing out there. Like, Korra became very, very bad for about a month, and then DE realized that they done goofed because there was a lot of community complaint about it. Um, so this, this whole tragedy thing, right? This felt like the most reasonable change to tragedy since it could be cast back to back without much forethought on positioning. No, you still had to aim at a motherfucker for the first two casts before you did the AO AOE blast. Now you can't do the AOE blast, you still have to do the line of sight blast. And it doesn't hit everyone now. So they did a hard line of sight nerf, which is fucking dumb. So to make it more active and make it more and make it more of an active ability, I don't know, cast one, cast one, cast or cast two, cast, or I'm sorry, cast three, cast three, cast four, rinse and repeat. That's pretty fucking active. 
and while looking at fucking enemies to increase bleed procs so you can make the four really hit home. I don't know how much more fucking active we need to be. I mean, do we need to be jerking off while we're playing a fucking game just to get a solid fucking bit of cardio here? Or what the fuck are they wanting from us? But okay. Um, so, to make it more of an active ability, enemies must now be within the range of your line of sight to be impacted by it. Yeah. And some of them don't even get hit because they got a person standing in front of them. So it's, it's, yeah, it's stupid. Reduce the amount of overguard gain from final versus triumph from 5,000 to 2,000 at max rank. Bro, that is a 60% drop in base overguard. For a bit of compensation, we increase triumph space overguard regeneration per second from 50 to 100 at max rank. Okay. Reduced the amount of overguard gained from Lightverse from 500 to 250, so now we're at a 50% base drop. Now, granted, all of this scales off of ability strength, so it's not like Dante's been nerfed completely into the fucking ground. But this is dumb. Uh, added overguard cap stat to the final verse, uh, final versus triumph description to make it clear uh, that there are cases where the cap for Lightverse and triumph can be different. Basically using Precision Intensify, which I'm okay with that. Final versus Page Flight no longer applies increased status effect damage to its enemies hit by its Paragrims. Well, now they're a fucking joke again. Now they're just purely a CC distractible fucking thing. What I thought they were going to be when Dante released. I thought the stupid little birds were just going to be stupid little birds that bug people. That's now what they are again. They're exactly what I thought they were going to be. Prior to, I at least found them useful. Now, I'm just irritated they fucking exist. Now, if that wasn't enough. So, pretty much the one goddamn weapon in the fucking game that really took a buff from the slam, from the slam buff was the Architytron, or Trident. It's Titron. What the hell? Triton. The Arca Triton. It's a fucking Arca Hammer. Basically, this thing was like, it's got some very funky Riven uses, but it, its slam attack really, really was horribly lackluster in most cases. And so when the slam buffs hit, it was like, hey, this thing's actually not so bad. And then what'd they do? They just nerfed the shit out of this fucking thing because all of a sudden it worked. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So additions, let's look here. Um, so there's some good. Okay, so like Anaros can now cancel Sandstorm sand with a melee attack. That's good. Uh, I had this particular problem. Casting your really surging blades will no uh, will no longer uh, root you in place. Yeah, that, that shit was happening while I was doing some testing. Here is some bullshit, okay? Because I've already got the video shot. It's like a fucking nuke build with Neja. It was a lot of fun. And it absolutely did not work against basically non, uh, you know, CC immune enemies. So it's basically, this was like a trash compactor, okay? Basically turning Neja into a map wiping trash compactor that had to be a weapons platform to kill heavier enemies, right? While, while the Divine Retribution Augment mod is equipped, the base range of Neja's Divine Spears is reduced by 50% at all mod ranks. So no matter what the fuck you do, they are nerfing 50% of your fucking mod rank build completely off if this mod is equipped. Like, really? I'm stuck. Okay, like I'm absolutely stuck. So like we're we're gonna just show. Bear with me just a second here. I want to show because like I'm not gonna go over the build or anything, but I just want to show you. Kind of what I'm talking about here. Okay, so obviously we have Neja here. Let's just go to the simulacrum really quick. You are a true now. I, I want to absolutely preface the fact that this is still playable, but this is stupid. This is beyond dumb. What the fuck they've done? I, like, I don't get it. Mm, Sanctum Simulacrum. Like, normally I would use the ballroom, but honestly, because the Sanctum one gives me 225, uh, level 225 enemies is the only reason I'm using this pitch. So, this is... You basically take Darkverse and you take Divine Spears, right? 
and use divine retribution okay come over here level 225 enemies now does this still work yes So does this still work? Yes. Like you'll notice, I pop some crates up there for some damn reason, and then I hit all this group of enemies. But it's now like the the range of status that gets exploded out is cut in fucking half. So live on a map, this is fucking horrible. Like it still works. But it's just like, okay, well, I'm already running a no energy Neja anyway. Why in the hell is this a thing? But here we are with Dante, right? Like before, as soon as you slash proc an enemy, you know, so if you slash proc, let's just say you slash proc an enemy, right? And then you cast the birds. The birds would come over here and put in some work. Kind of not the case anymore. So now... Like, he still works, but as you just saw... Like, one heavy gunner standing in the back just didn't even get touched. You saw how much armor that bitch still had. Like... Most games, okay? Most games sit back and they give 30 to 90 days, okay? I don't know what digital extremes problem is with this shit, but most, you know, um, most of these MMO games usually give like a 30 to 90 day window to see player activity, to see how much players are trying to break shit in their game. And then they make adjustments accordingly. For some reason, digital extremes, sometimes it will wait three fucking years. Sometimes it will be, in this case, like Gyre came out, she got nerfed in 30 hours. Okay. And it took almost a fucking year to get an augment mod to make her good again. Dante comes out. He's really fucking good. He got eight days. Now we're down to here. Now I really need a lot of energy assistance because otherwise I'm just going to fucking constantly run out of energy for how much I have to cash shit now. So it's just like, I don't understand why they can't let players have something new, use something new and take the quantifiable data that's within the realm of control and see, okay, well, you know, people after 30 fucking days are still using the shit out of this thing. The kill count behind this one particular frame is insane. Um, you know, and so now we need to kind of back him off a little bit. No, no, we're just going to give eight days and just gut his ass and just call it good. So hopefully they re at least revert the hard line of sight attack function, because if they would at least do that, I think I would be fine with them doing this the way that they're doing. Because honestly, more casting for Overguard, I'm over it. Because there's an Overguard regen to it. If it was like Calervo and you just kept having to cast blades around to, to get more Overguard, that would be different. But the fact that, you know, I think it's Triumph, um, basically once you've done 2-2-4, two, two, then you're at Overguard regen. So even if it's a really low number... Every time you kill an enemy, you're regening Overguard, yet they cut that fucking number down too, which is dumb. But at least it's an Overguard regen on its own as long as you stay active and kill enemies. It being a line of sight, sure, okay, they don't want us AoEing the fucking map. Fair enough. Make it a soft line of sight. So at least I can hit a motherfucker through a motherfucker. Because if you're going to make me look down a fucking hallway and hit people, I want to hit the fucking people I'm aiming at. And then with Neja, how in the fuck are you going to gut all of my mods based on range if I have a mod equipped? Like that mod basically overwrites 50% of my build for one ability. Like everything else on the frame is fine, right? Like, you know, I put... um you know, tragedy on there or uh, dark verse. Sorry. I put dark verse on there to add slash procs while they were speared. That's fine. It's not affected. Um, you know, his little frisbee, not affected. Warding halo, not affected, but 
here we are, Divine Spears, it's now cut in half. And so anything that you have modded is now taking a 50% gut just because that fucking mod's on there. Like, does it work? Sure. But it's now cut down to like 20 some odd meters instead of the 50 some odd meters that it was with the build that I had. So... Like, I'm still going to post a video, and I'm probably going to change the intro to it to this is what we wish we had. Or this is what we wish we still had. I don't know, man. It fucking pisses me off. Like, how are you going to release augment mods and then gut augment mods? And then how are you going to release a frame and then basically fuck the frame up all within eight days? Like, again... I don't know how many fucking people have to say this before Digital Extremes finally fucking, you know, responds to this shit. But when the fuck are we, you know, when when are there actually going to be finally realistic test servers for this fucking game? So people can intentionally try to break the shit in the game so they know how shit is going to come out so they don't have to gut the fuck out of stuff after it comes out. You know, people, if it only takes eight days for people to get a hold of this crap and break the fuck out of it, technically six considering it was it's been two days since they talked about nerfing dante so if it only took six days for some of the top tier players in this game to just break the game and in, in lieu of you know or in regards to the new stuff why do we not have test servers for these higher end players to just break the shit that you're about to release because once they break it then you can see okay is this too broken or is this good enough because these people just understand how to mod it? Because truthfully, like, I look at Dante, like, I'm going to be fine with Dante. It's annoying, but I'm going to be fine. Where my gripe comes from is actually from a new player, because I've already done a couple of new accounts. So I understand that when you don't have the proper modding and a frame isn't performing the way ever you see everybody on YouTube and Twitch and everybody else using that frame, you get really burnt out and you just tend to go to another game. And personally, I like having a very large player base to play with at times. Sometimes I just do public missions just to window shop, you know, and, and that's what I call it. Basically people watching. Um, but I don't understand why they just have to cut the nuts off of things. And then people see what they see from YouTubers and are seeing all this OP fucking power and you get some poor newer player that, you know, has just got Dante farm. They don't have all the right mods and they're just fucking dying constantly because they can't figure out why the fuck their, you know, their kit isn't performing to the same level until maybe somebody shows that build on the live stream. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, shit, that's entirely too much fucking work. Why can't I make this fucking work? I don't know, man. I, I, I don't understand digital extremes. I'm not trying to just bash them in the fucking ground here. I'm really not. But this is fucking dumb, man. Like, this is really dumb. Like, everybody's been having a ball with Dante for fucking, you know, a week. And then just all of a sudden, yesterday or two days ago, we get the whole, you know, dev short thing of, well, we're looking at, you know, possibly putting some nerfs on Dante. And then you hardline a sight to motherfucker and cut his overguard cap. And then basically say that, well, it's his overguard is the problem, not the damage. Well, then why'd you touch the damage? Why'd you touch the birds? Why'd you put a fucking hard line of sight strike on the fucking, you know, on the tragedy? I don't know, man. It's, it's really stupid. It's really annoying. It's going to run some players off because they're just going to look at it and go, oh my God, we got this really OP frame. Oh, no, we don't. He's like any other frame. He's not. Like, I'm not saying he is, but that's the feeling that a lot of, a lot of veteran players get is that they're like, oh man, this fucking frame is very unique. He's very different. He's got a lot of function. Then all of a sudden, hey, by the way, get fucked. This actually doesn't work the way that it did eight days ago. Good luck. It's really annoying. So, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. So, sorry if I seem gripey or bitchy. I'm not, I'm truthfully not trying to be. I'm just trying to understand, like, why they don't give more time to let the community really do what they do before just coming in and cutting our nuts off. Or, why don't we have test servers for those of us who love to break the fight? And not even me. There's people that make way crazier builds than I do. But why don't we have test servers with dedicated you know, alpha testers or beta testers instead of making the game just this constant running fucking beta, you know, beta test. And then, oh, hey, you remember all that cool shit you just had? No, nope. goodbye. It just got circumcised right the fuck off. It's it's dumb. So I don't know, folks. Thanks very much for watching again. Sorry if I sound gripey or bitchy about this. It's just it's really annoying. So, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. All right.